Chaos said an Orlando gas station led to an Orange County deputy opening fire. It all went down on Southwest Moreland Drive and West Michigan Street near I-4. West 2's Spencer Tracy talked with a man who caught it all on video. Chaos erupts at an Orlando gas station after one man causes multiple car crashes Tuesday. I heard like a boom. So when I look, I noticed that somebody flew through the sidewalk. A surveillance camera across the street captures the man rear end someone first. Then his car jumps the curb and heads towards the gas station. He just kept going, went through the pumps, through the gas station and just hit the wall on the, uh, the little car wash there. Miguel Curoyes is the one behind the camera. He works across the street at M&M Auto Sales. After the crash, he says the man started to act erratically. The witness in the video says he tried to help the man. When uh, I turned my back, he came out and he, uh, he came out at me and punched me. So I ran away from him. The man then tries to punch a car window and carjack a flatbed truck. That truck ends up hitting a gas pump. This is the aftermath of where that flatbed truck hit this gas pump. Business owners tell me it's a miracle that no one got hurt and that nothing bursted into flames. There was definitely something going on with this guy, and I don't know if that was if he was in crisis or he was on drugs. This video from West Shoe reporter Tony Atkins shows the man running around and aggressively going after deputies. Sheriff John Mina says the man was holding a metal rod. That man turned back around and ran at the deputies still holding that metal rod. Uh, that's where two deputies used their service weapons and shot the suspect. The sheriff says the man was taken to the hospital and is undergoing surgery. From an attempted carjacking to running after deputies with a metal rod, people nearby says this is not something you see every day. It was uh, scary because I was filming him. He saw me filming. In Orange County, Spencer Tracy, West 2 News. Now the sheriff says the man faces several charges, including attempted carjacking and aggravated assault on law enforcement.